the road, some Flint residents are now on the path to getting their license back. A Flint church opened its doors to help guide people in the process after a law cleared driver's license suspensions. TV 5's Trevor Sahaki explains how road to restoration clinics like this one have huge ripple effects for those they help. The law only required us to update driving records to let uh, drivers passively know they could have their licenses and uh, license privileges restored. We decided to take it one step further and actually meet people where they are. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson today visiting a road to restoration clinic at St. John Christian Church in Flint. The law, passed last October, lifted driver's license suspensions for more than 350,000 Michiganders with unpaid tickets, fines, or who failed to appear in court. But there's still action needed for many, which is where the clinic comes in. For so many residents, a lot of people don't know that the law has changed, and they don't know, even if it, they, they, they've hear, heard about it, they don't know what to do to actually restore their, their driving privileges. Dozens of people were assisted inside Pastor Derek Nolan's church. Having a valid driver's license is very important. Uh, definitely, you know, it assists people in getting to their job and being able to take care of the household. And we're grateful for the Secretary of State to come to the city of Flint. People like Clarissa Davids. What a wonderful opportunity. And it's a great thing that these people are doing to try to help people to get back on their feet and become productive citizens again. She had her license revoked, but is now on the path to getting it back. The Flint resident appreciated the warm atmosphere. More positive, supportive, and hopeful. Secretary Benson said they will continue putting on restoration clinics as long as the need is there. In Flint, Trevor Sahaki, WNEM TV5. The Michigan Department of State held other road to restoration clinics in Detroit, Grand Rapids, Dearborn, Pontiac, Ypsilanti, and Muskegon.